don't think that lecturers should be the traditional sort of didactic lecturer stands at the front as the front of all knowledge and talks to the students who know nothing. I think the students have a lot to input in lectures. Often they've worked in industry or they're working in industry and they know lots that they can bring to the lecture. So I like to get their views. I like to engage them in the session as well. Uh, I don't think lecturers uh, and lectures should be boring. It shouldn't just be a one-way process of information. So if we can use blended learning to engage students, to, to invigorate and uh, to interest students, I think that's a really useful tool. I, I think learning should be fun. It shouldn't just be sitting there listening for a couple of hours to someone drone on at the front of a lecture theatre. Uh, that would bore me and, and I'm sure I don't, uh, students wouldn't want to listen to me for, for two hours. So if we can break it up, I think that's really useful. There's a number of ways that I think blended learning can help students learn flexibly. When we've looked at the study patterns of students, when they access views for instance, you see that sometimes they're accessing it at one or two o'clock in the morning. They're, they'll fit it in around work patterns. So blended learning can help them access their resources at any time of the day or night as it may be. These days students are, uh, are working increasingly. Sometimes they're almost holding down a full-time job and it can be difficult for them to attend classes. So through using blended learning, we can allow them to sort of fit the two in, fit their studying alongside their work patterns and just be more flexible. And I guess the, the final way that we can uh, benefit from blended learning is that we don't need to be in the same place at the same time as our students. We can run activities where they could be the other side of the world and still contribute to the discussion and still be engaged in that learning environment. In my blended learning approach, I've been using a number of different tools. There's a few out there that are readily accessible, just bringing videos into class, and there's a number of some video databases you can use to, to, to find these. You can also use multiple choice questions to help students assess their learning as they go through the unit. Uh, they're very easy to find or very easy to create yourself, and you can bring those in. There are other tools such as social media. I've made use of Twitter, other uh, academics I know have made use of Facebook uh, to, to engage students in class. I've also used um, audience response systems to try and gauge their views on various topics during the session uh, and also to, to test their understanding at certain points uh, at the end of it. There are tools that can help share content, so I've used QR codes or quick response codes to easily just give information out to students that they can access via an iPad or a tablet or a smartphone of some, uh, of some brand. So there's lots of tools out there. Uh, sometimes it's a matter of finding out what the right tool is for what it is that you're trying to do. And so what I'd advise is either just have a look, it may be a tool that you're aware of already, something that you use uh, maybe not in a classroom setting but can be brought in, or to speak to a blended learning advisor and find out how uh, a specific tool, a specific function can help support the purpose it is that you're trying to fulfil in your unit. I think blended learning has really helped in my teaching. I found that it's engaged and invigorated students during sessions, that we have breaks where they do an activity and they're interested in the topic and they're giving their views uh, and that's proved hopefully interesting to them and engaging for them. I've also had students that will send me information outside of class, so it's not just during sessions that they're engaged, they're, they're actually continuing to learn and study outside of that. And during sessions some of the things that we do they found fun as well. So actually making learning fun I think is a really useful uh, tool to have and a really useful way to, to engage students in that. If you're considering using blended learning or if you're not considering blended learning I'd probably give you some tips. Firstly really have a go, try it. Uh, it, it can actually be enjoyable for you as well as the students. Uh, the old Dr Pepper adage, try it, you might like it, really does apply here. Uh, it's, sometimes it's fun for me as a lecturer to use these tools as well as for the students and I think that's a really uh, great thing. Secondly, it's not as difficult as you may think. The, the tools don't need to be sophisticated. You could use something that you're already using, something like social media that most people are on. You can incorporate this into your teaching in a relatively easy manner, but it just makes it different and it really does make a difference for students.